Hi, my name is Abhay Bedi, and today I'd like to talk to you about opening the bite, rationales, and considerations. During prosthetic reconstruction, oftentimes it becomes necessary to open the bite, or in technical terms, restore the vertical dimension of occlusion. There are many rationales for doing so, such as improving facial appearance, or to restore proper dimensions for oral tissues that have been lost due to loss of tooth structure or teeth and supporting tissues themselves. However, one irrefutable rationale is to provide adequate space for your restorative materials. We have to exercise care before the bite is opened and if this is not done judiciously, it could pose to be a problem. Changing vertical dimension for some could trigger problems with the temporomandibular joint while for others, it could pose to be problems with phonetics and function. The literature, as you know, is replete with techniques that can be employed to determine vertical dimension of occlusion. These include using freeway space as a guide, employing phonetics to determine Suleiman's closest speaking space, and accounting for minimum space that is needed for restorative materials. Vertical dimension always has to work in harmony with aesthetics, structure, function, and biology. Once vertical dimension is determined, it should be tested by using reversible means before any teeth get prepared. This can be done using removable overlays such as snap-on smiles, overlay RPDs, and occlusal guards. The patient is instructed to wear all of these all the time except while brushing. Once the patient is comfortable for a couple of weeks, the reconstruction is tested out in provisionals to ensure that there are no surprises before the final restoration gets delivered. The truth is that there is no set amount of opening for any patient and there is a range that works out well for each case. The majority of our patients will adapt comfortably to this change but it is our responsibility to proceed judiciously and with caution. My name is Abhay Bedi and I thank you for watching this video.